Happy Nerdy New Year, we're back, and it's time for the Nerdy News. Welcome to the Nerdy News, I'm Matt Barnes, and here's what's happening in the Nerdyverse. Actually, before we get to the news of the day, I want to start off by saying goodbye to 2016. 2016, a year when way too many amazing talents were taken from us. 2016, a year that started with a schedule of more promising movies than I can remember in recent history, most of which turned out to be major letdowns. And 2016, a year I think most of us are fine leaving in the dust of history. But don't fret, my friends, 2017 looks promising. And I know I thought the same thing about 2016, so I'm gonna approach 2017 with a sense of cautious optimism, especially after looking through the most recent Entertainment Weekly and their first look issue. I swear they don't pay us. 2016 may have mostly sucked, but here's what we have to look forward to in 2017. In February, we've got the Batman Lego movie. In March, I'm excited about Kong, Skull Island, and Beauty and the Beast, though not so excited about Power Rangers and Ghost in the Shell. April's got The Fate of the Furious, which will be fun. I can't wait for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and Alien Covenant in May, though I'm not sure I can say the same for Baywatch and Pirates of the Caribbean 5. June's full of big budget movies that feel like they could be a letdown, like World War Z 2, Cars 3, Transformers Last Night, and Despicable Me 3, which I'm sure will be uh, enjoyable because, well, Gru plus Minions equals fun. Also, Wonder Woman's in June, which I'm so hopeful for. Feeling good for July with Spider-Man Homecoming and War of the Planet of the Apes, though skeptical about Dunkirk, Valerian, and the City of a Thousand Planets, because that, that name is crazy, and The Dark Tower. We'll just skip August and mention that Stephen King's It remake is coming out in September. I'm hoping that The Kingsman, The Golden Circle, and Blade Runner 2049 deliver the goods in October. I'm stoked on Thor Ragnarok in November, but a little bit afraid for Justice League for so many reasons. And the year looks uh, like it's going to end strong with Pitch Perfect 3, the Jumanji remake, and of course, Star Wars Episode Eight. I'm looking forward to all of these movies and talking about them with you here on Nerdy Pop this year. So, 2017, you're on notice. Don't screw this up. This past weekend saw the return of everyone's favorite, obnoxious, condescending, and conceited detective, Sherlock Holmes, in the premiere of the fourth season of the BBC's Sherlock. Now, I can't say much without giving some major spoilers away, and I try not to do that here on the Nerdy News, but what I can say is that it was a fine B-level episode that seems like it's setting up the rest of the season for something great. Additionally, there's just something nice about seeing Benedict Cumberbatch return to a television show that gave him his start after becoming a massive Hollywood celebrity. And of course, Martin Freeman is excellent as always as Watson. Yesterday it was announced that my old Nerdy Pop co-host Rob Liefeld struck a seven-figure deal with Akiva Goldsman, Graham King, and Brooklyn Weaver for his extreme universe of comic book superheroes, including Brigade, Bloodstrike, Cybrid, and others. Rob said, to now be able to work with Akiva Goldsman and Graham King, who are powerhouses in their own right, to bring these compelling characters and conflicts to life on the big screen is nothing short of a dream come true. Our congrats to Rob, and we wish him the best of luck with these new endeavors. Variety broke the non-news this morning that Woody Harrelson is being considered for the role of Han Solo's mentor in the Han Solo Star Wars uh, standalone movie. I say non-news because they cite sources without any specification, and because being the top choice or being considered for something isn't really news yet. Yet, here I am talking about it. My name is Matt Barnes, and I'm part of the problem. <laughs> In what is possibly my favorite bit of news today, while talking with the Hollywood Reporter's Award Chatter podcast, after more than 20 years, Michael Keaton commented on why he passed on Batman Forever, and it's pretty much what you'd expect. Keaton said that he hung in there for many meetings with Joel Schumacher, and then went on to say, let me simplify it for you. It sucked. The script was never good. I didn't understand why he, meaning Schumacher, wanted to do what he wanted to do, and I knew it was in trouble when he said, why does everything have to be so dark? <laughs> I freaking love Michael Keaton. And that, despite being offered large amounts of money, he was like, peace, because he knew it wouldn't be good. So, lesson for the day, nerdy poppers, be like Batman. Unless it's going to be Batman directed by Joel Schumacher, then be like Michael Keaton. Finally, of course, we all know that we tragically lost both Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds over the holidays. HBO had just finished a documentary on both of them that was set to air in March. However, with their passing, they've decided to premiere the film this Saturday, January 7th at 8 p.m. I know I'll be tuning in to learn more about these amazing entertainers. Make sure to check it out. Also, you can check out the tribute I did to Carrie Fisher on Nerdy Pop the Podcast last week. One last thing. Nerdy Pop is produced by my company, Rogue Creative Development, and we get to create a lot of fun content around here. One thing we finished recently that we're really proud of is our first app, the Road Trip Games app. It's a fun and simple app for playing those games you used to play on road trips, games like Tic-Tac-Toe, Hangman, the License Plate Game, the Quiet Game, and more. And it's available on iPhones and iPads now, and it's currently on sale for a limited time for 99 cents, so check it out at roadtripgamesapp.com. That's it for the nerdy news today. Make sure you click that subscribe button on YouTube and check out Nerdy Pop the Podcast. And subscribe to that as well. And as always, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Nerdy Pop Show and check out nerdypopshow.com for all the latest in pop nerddom. 
Have an amazing day, and until next time, stay nerdy and stay poppy. Bye-bye.